Hey guys, Gabriel here and I decided to make two videos in one day, but I've been holding on this for this information for a long time because mostly because everyone has already covered it, but basically the Xbox 360 controller has been re-released by Hyperkin. These people have the worst microphones known to humankind. But yeah guys, if you guys haven't heard, uh, Hyperkin has re-released the Xbox 360 controller and I'm pretty sure in four different colors. I'm pretty sure it's pink, black, white, and blue i'm pretty sure but if you guys already know i am a big fan of the xbox 360 controller as you guys know i play with one every single day this is my modern warfare 3 controller which i fucking love by the way and i play with a titan one adapter unlike nadia who uses the titan one adapter just to fucking actually no that's a cronus max and what the fuck am i talking about i do not use the titan one adapter for hacking i use it only for me using my xbox 360 controller on my xbox one I have no idea what those people were doing. Yes! Oh, keep it going. Keep it going! No! But yeah, I've always loved the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, with a person who has, like, big hands and everything, it just felt so nice in the hand and everything. Like, it feels so nice when I'm using it. The only problem with this controller is that it's not wireless, and I hate wired controllers with a passion. And another issue with it is that the buttons are black, even though I pre-ordered the white one, and the buttons are still black on the white one, even though it's sh sh they should be white. It should basically look like this. I'm the top person with our team with kills right now what the fuck but yeah with a person with big hands i've always loved the xbox 360 controller and just to show you how big my hands are so this is a water bottle i'm basically almost over the cap well at least the same height as it but yeah i have big hands and this fits perfectly with me unlike the xbox one controller because i've always hated the xbox one controller they were always so flimsy and this xbox 360 controller has never failed now my original white xbox controller that i used to have that i smashed in the video one time that lasts me for years but i also have a black one that I had for years also. So this controller right here, I've had for years, and as you can see, the sticks are really worn down, but this has never failed me. This is old, this is this is basically just old reliable at this point. If any of these controller fails, which I have a plenty of them, I will always go back to that black one. I'm just hoping that the Hyperkin one just feels exactly like the... Yeah, I got it, bitch! I fucking hated the Xbox One controller, bro. Like, I've always hated it. I've had two of them that have broken, and none of these Xbox 360 controllers have broken. Hopefully, the Hyperkin could be just as good. I know they were originally, like, you know, famous for the Duke controller, which I should have gotten because, again, big hands. And it still has the same amount of force with the sticks. Because the Xbox One sticks, like I said, are too damn loose. I like the resistance with the Xbox 360 controller sticks. They feel much more accurate. Now I do have an Xbox One, so I don't know if the Xbox Series S control Xbox Series controllers work with the Xbox One. I've heard that they do, but I swear if I buy this for no damn reason and it doesn't even work with my console, or I just wasted fifty dollars. But yeah, I'll probably make it a review of it when I I do get my hands on it. Give you a full clear unboxing review and everything, even though there's already unboxing videos of it. Why is the old shit always better built? Damn, 32 kills? I'm telling you, back when I had the Xbox One controller, I had never had this much amount of accuracy. Just slurred a bunch of my words. Please tell me that was final kill. Anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I the Hyper King controller is good. And again, big hands do not matter.